On social media, a lot of people are talking about a heart attack drug called trimethamine, making three big claims. That it was added to the kids' Pfizer doses, that it wasn't tested on kids in the clinical trial, but was still authorized by the FDA, and that it was added to counteract heart problems caused by the vaccine itself. So let's verify step by step with the help of our sources, the FDA, Pfizer documents, and a trio of infectious disease experts. Let's start with that first claim. Is tromethamine in the children's Pfizer vaccine? That's verified. The new formulation uh, contains tromethamine, uh, which is known as TRIS, a buffer. Buffers are added to help maintain a vaccine's pH level, which allows the vaccine to last longer. Which brings us to the second claim, and that's also verified by Pfizer itself. Our experts say that they switch from phosphate buffered saline, or PBS, to TRIS, because it has a longer shelf life. And we should note that it's already in many vaccines. PBS is just saline and water. Tris buffer adds uh, another feature in terms of it being protective of the mRNA molecule. So yes, they tested one buffer and authorized another, but our experts are not too concerned. We have done this for other products and other vaccines where we've made tiny um, modifications to the formulation to make them more stable. Which brings us to our third and final claim. Tromethamine is also a drug prescribed to heart attack patients, so some claim online that it's being added to the vaccine to counteract heart-related side effects from the vaccine. Our sources say this is false. This tiny amount of tromethamine that is put into these vaccine bottles, that is to stabilize the pH of the bottle. Not, it doesn't have anything to do with the pH of the person that vaccine is going into. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.